Hey, eraser, eraser. Trips over rocky eraser. What? Look what I just found. It's a rectangle. No, pen, that's a parallelogram. I would know. What about this? Oh my god, pen, that's a pentagon. Yeah, like, if you took my name, and added a gun. You don't understand, pen. Pentagons are extremely scary. Really? I didn't think it was that scary. The pentagon makes a loud noise, pen and eraser scream. Help us, Blocky. Okay. Picks up saw. Blocky. Put me down. Help. There, now it is a quadrilateral and a triangle. Phew. Wow, I don't ever want to see a pentagon ever again. Camera pan to Foldy and tennis ball. Hey tennis ball. Hi, Foldy. What's up? I'm helping golf ball find where Leafy is, but Leafy's right over there. Oh. Thanks, Foldy. Hey golf ball, I know where. Hold on TB, I'm busy looking for Leafy. But golf ball. Shush, I have to concentrate. Wait, there's Leafy right now. Golf ball runs to Leafy, and runs into Pin, who is carrying blueberry seeds. Pin drops the seeds and they land next to Koi. Oh if. Hey Snowball, can you throw something all the way to that pot? Yeah. What should I throw? Uh. Grabs the seeds, how about this? Snowball throws the seeds, they break a window in Cloudy's pile of stuff. Thunder, thick accent, hey, my window. Sorry, Cloudy. Okay Fiery, you try. Throws the blueberry seeds but the seeds instantly fall to the ground, you try, Taco. Taco throws the seeds into the pot, Fiery and Coiny cheer. Hey, have any of you seen my blueberry seeds? Uh. I hope they're not in the pot. They are extremely fast growing. Yeah. The blueberries suddenly grow, Coiny and Fiery start sweating. Sweats, ah. An explosive. Zoom in on the blueberries, cut back to pin. Oh well. I'll keep looking. Ice Cube, have you seen my blueberry seeds? Shakes her head. How about you, remote? I don't have any seeds, but here is a fork. Grabs the fork, Tom. My fork. Yellow face places the fork in a pile. Yeah, exactly. See, bottle, you understand. Notices the fork pile, yellow face, what is the? Their forks. Yeah, but why? Gelatin grabs two of the forks. Zoom out, revealing that Gelatin and Puffball are building a Serpinski triangle out of forks. That's a very large stack of forks, Gelatin. Rams the stack of forks, wee ee ee. Yeah. Uh, a fork flies through the air. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The fork pops Bubble. She gets recovered. Wow, Bubble, it's so cool that you get your very own recovery center. Oinks. Another fork pops Bubble. Hey, who, like, keeps popping Bubble? Let's find out. The Alliance finds Book watching Cake and Pie playing Tic Tac Toe. Book. Help us find a criminal. No, thanks. I'm good. If you don't, we just might have to expel you from our alliance. But I'm an alternate, right? HMPH. Oh my gosh, I won. Sorry Pi, no hard feelings, right? Whatever. You win some, you lose some. Now that's a good way to look at it. Neely, did you pop bubble? No. Sounds like a lie to me. Liars must be punished. Picks up Naily, let's punish Naily. Oh my gosh, Naily. Stu Put her down, pencil. Oh my gosh, loser. TV, Ruby, Bombi, Basketball, Woody, Bubble, Pie and Grassy cheer for a loser. Pie explodes. Now, pencil, apologize to Naily. Sorry, Nelly. Loser's such a great guy. I agree. Loser, say hi to me. 
How are you doing, Tree? Loser, you're my hero. Tree. What? We gotta get your drop to talk. But why? Cause I see her standing there silent for hours, I wanna know what's going on inside her head. In her mind, loser. I don't think it's worth it. So here's our plan. Did I not just say it wasn't worth it? I'll hold Deirdrop's jaw open and you'll wiggle her vocal cords, so that they make noise. That's it, I'm leafing. Tree leafs and leaves. Aw, oh, Tree doesn't seem too cool. Whoa. Ice Cube, you're there, are you cool? Uh. Um. Ice Cube, it's not that hard of a question. Are. You. Cool? Uh. Uh. Yeah Lee, Ice Cube is the coolest person that I've ever met. She's so epically cool. Just like you are too, we're all cool. I-S-N-T-I-T -I -T so awesome to be so cool? Ice Cube, since you're so cool, do you want to help me to get Teardrop to talk? Yeah. Lee holds Teardrop's jaw open and Ice Cube wiggles her vocal cords. Keep wiggling Ice Cube, I can almost hear a voice. Yeah, go Ice Cube. You can do it. Why are you condoning Ice Cube's brutal abuse of innocent airdrop? I hate you. Yeah, I do too. No, I hate you. Well why would you hate me? I'm just trying to stand up for airdrop. Because self-improvement only occurs when we acknowledge that our own behaviors are far from perfect, and, dare I say, worthy of hate. Ice Cube isn't worthy of hate. Yes she is. Why you're worthy of hate? Yes, I am. Whoa. That's really thought-provoking. Thank you for opening my eyes. You're welcome. Le and Icy, cease the torment. No. Ice Cube, it's time to stop abusing Teardrop. Ice Cube will only stop when she wants to stop. I want to stop. Stop swiggling. I'm proud of your decision, Icy. I'm not. You said you'd help me. You said you were cool. Sorry. Continues wiggling. Ice Cube, I am appalled. While I, Lee, am pressed. Flips switch, and I'm impressed. Uh, um. What do I do? Simultaneously. Clock, you're wrong. Listen to me, Clock. You're not listening. I'm a light switch, I know better than you, and I know that you are wrong. I can't believe you would do something like this. It's unbelievable. I need you to stop right now. This is the worst thing I've ever seen coming out of you, Lee. I can't believe it. Go Ice Cube. Go. I believe in you. A fork stabs Teardrop and she bites Ice Cube's legs. Screams. I hate you. Huh, maybe we should put a rest to this Teardrop thing, Icy. Yeah, Icy. Let's hear you cheer. I can't hear you. Louder. Teardrop, how could you chomp so viciously on poor, innocent Ice Cube? You should feel ashamed. Teardrop slaps both Clock and Lee, then storms off. Well, I think we both wrong Teardrop today. Truce? Holds out her hand, Truce? Clock, it's not that hard. Just shake my hand. Lee reaches for Clock's Clock hands. Don't you ticking dare touch my clock hands. Clock raises his foot and Lee is shaking it. Hey guys. Can I be part of the truce too? Icy joins hands, feet with Lind clock. Yay. Huh, look at that. I always thought Ice Cube was too meek, but I guess she's good at negotiation after all. Yeah. Go Ice Cube. Your fan club is growing. Listen, Rennie. I never said I was a fan of Ice Cube, I was just analyzing her. But how could you not be a fan of Icy? She's awesome. Well then you, little rascal, are a mere follower, and followers never win. I I I hate you. I hate you too. Well I love you. I love all of you. You guys are so amazing. I can't wait to meet all of you. Be quiet, Leafy, you're not helping. Oh. I see how it is. Maybe then I don't want to be friends. Turns to four other characters what about you guys? Do you want to be friends? I bet you do cause you're awesome. 
yeah. Thick accent, of course, it's good to collect as many friends as possible. Let me think about it, I'll get back to you later, Leafy. Buh. Why doesn't Gaty like me? I just don't know much about you yet, that's all. Well you've definitely chosen to take things the hard way, Gaty, but if that's the way you want to do it I guess I can't stop you. Hey Gaty, what's your favorite number? 3. Why? Oh, no reason, just wanted to let you know that I don't have a favorite number. Thick accent, I have 37 favorite numbers. Whoa, how do you have so many? Thick accent, I've collected them over the years. Teardrop stomps to the edge of a cliff. Gosh, those people sure want to get you to talk, huh? They just don't understand the appeal of silence. You know, there was a time when I never spoke, so I understand. Teardrop faces in excitement. I said, there was a time when I never spoke, so I understand. Teardrop flutters her arms. Well, you clearly aren't egging me on. I thought you'd be curious, but I guess not. What was that about? A. I tried to get Teardrop interested in one of my personal life stories, but she obviously wasn't interested. TD's hard to impress. Tell me about it. Earlier today I tried to sell her my fork repellent, but she didn't even care enough to utter a word. She did do this weird arm fluttery thing though. Oh, you mean this gesture? Billow flutters her arms. Yeah, exactly that gesture. I've done some research, and I believe it means the person cares so little that the last droplets of care spirit are being sucked out of their body, through their arms, and out of the tips of their fingers, and into the outer reaches of interstellar space to be lost forever. A true indicator that person doesn't give a fluff. Geez, teardrop is so hard to impress. Her standards must be through the roof. How can we ever get her attention? I honestly think it might be impossible. Uh, guys? Maybe Teardrop did care, but just didn't say anything, because, you know, she can't. That's a ludicrous thought. Yeah, make sure the barf molecules aren't spilling out and intoxicating your brain cells. Now wait, Lolly. Let's think about this. If Barf Bag's brain is being infected with puke, that's not her fault, so don't be mean about it. I can't believe this. You guys never take me seriously. Flutters her arms. Look. The fluttery arms. She does not care. Spongy, will you take me seriously? Yeah. Phew. Finally, there's someone. Flowers pretty beautiful. Gasp. Hey Match, I figured out how the Alliancers can deal with our enemies more effectively. Really? How like do we do that? Pulls out lightning lightning. Lightning, go electrocute spongy. Lightning electrocute spongy. Pain. Matching pencil cheer, yay? I feel like my alliance has changed lately. Good. Now, lightning? Go get like flower. Actually lightning, do what you think is right. H-N-N-N-G. Bubble's right. Why am I obeying these maniacs? Bubble. Please don't expel me from the alliance. You aren't expelled. But we're gonna demote you. From member, to member. Yeah. No yo. Am I still a member? Size yes Ruby, you are. Yay yeah, eh. Lightning flies away and finds Marker and Stapy. Hey Marker and Stapy. Wanna be friends? Nah. Whatever. Electrocutes flower. Stapy, will you play toss the dirt with me? Yeah. Marker and Stapy start digging. Dora notices this. Digging. How novel. If I am to construct and produce islands for consumption, acquiring dirt in this jubilant manner seems most appropriate. Singing and digging islands islands. Yum, yum, yum. Islands islands. Chomp. Islands. They are so delish. Gimme islands now. Gimme. 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 Islands. Yum. Islands. Glorp. Schlorp. Gobble. Gloop. Gulp. Lala. Islands. Islands Islands. Yum. 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 
Islands Islands. Chomp. Islands. Yum. Doran unearths a jar of cyanide tablets. I totally deserve this treasure. Flower attempts to open the jar, failing. Black Hole, you're strong, open this jar for me. MMM, I dunno, that sounds like a bad idea, for me to do that. If, if you don't help me open it, I'll I'll crush you. Well, yay, but like, I'm already infinitely small, being a singularity. Just do it Black Hole, uh, okay. Black Hole approaches Earth. Yes, yes, yes. It's working. Flower. What have you done? I got this jar open. Balloonie is sucked into Black Hole. Uh oh, seriously? Four crushes Black Hole down to a smaller size. Intro plays. Oh, cool. I've been crushed down to a smaller size. What's this? I dunno. Try squishing it. Being squished ee 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 ah. Hey. Don't squish that. You don't know what it does. I do this. Four captures and mutilates pin. Ah. Pretty cool, don't you think? Can. You bring her back? No. But the recovery centers are gone. They got sucked up. Are you sure you can't? Nope. Please you gotta bring her back. Flutter's arms. Come on coiny, show some respect. I hate to live in a world where recovery is impossible. Where we die forever. Too bad. Yeah. Too bad. There's another one. Lee squishes X. It totally has a different texture from the first one. So what do you want, murderer? Screeching. So what do you want, murderer? SCR. No more screechy please. Etches. Daddy did it did it did it Yeah. Sounds totally reasonable, Dora. Can do. But what is it you can do? Prolonged silence. SCR. 4 is attacked by Pillow, who disappears, in which pencil, match and needle are shocked at it. Cuts back to 4 who is now standing, he blinks and his left arm disappears. Sigh. I guess we'll never get Pin or Pillow back. Check this out. Pillow, Pin, and Balloonie emerge from Four's hand. I'm so glad you guys remembered to bring me back. Can you? Leave now? No. Well, can you at least stop? Let's play a game. I love games. What's wrong? Don't you want to battle to win a prize? But what is the prize? A BFDI. Everyone murmurs with a positive reaction. I love that prize. Screech is now four made teams of eight. It's too bad I don't care about that number at all. Wanna be on the same team cues where both balls? Yeah. Let's adopt these three because they're balls too. No, no way. There is no way I'm gonna be on this team of weak, armless. Loser, do you want to join our team? I got all my pals along. How could I refuse? But what about me? Loser, I thought we were gonna be teammates. What? Loser said he was gonna be with me. Hey, why don't we just all be on the same team? Everyone gasps and chants Loser's name. There's enough of me to go around. Hey Pi, how many people have you killed? Um, none? Wimp. Lightning. How about you? How many people? Sadly, dozens. Yeah, I knew I'd find a powerful team to made soon enough. We're gonna go far, Lightning, we're gonna go so far. Whoa, Pi, you seriously haven't killed anyone else, like, ever? No, have you? Yay, I have, but it felt extremely disturbing. I wanna know how you resisted the temptation. Can we be on the same team so I can learn from you? Oh, oh please. Show me as well. Sounds like as good an idea as any. You guys are against killing? The world needs more people like you. I agree. I'm all about life. Join us then. Did someone say killing? Lollipop, I know you think my brain has been destroyed, but maybe I can prove my true abilities if we're on the same team. 
How can you prove yourself if you're truly infected? I'm sorry, but just based on your appearance, I gotta say no. Oh my sap. Sick airplane passenger, fine then. I'll team up with Spongy, because he likes my presence. Yeah. Hey Spongy, can my friend Bombi and I join your team? Okay. But no burning me. No promises. Wait. Okay, free smart, who are our two other members? Actually, I dunno. I kinda want to be on some other team this time. This team's kinda unhealthy for us, don't you agree Ice Cube? Yeah. Let's be on Getty's team. Nice. <laughs> Dang. I want to know how Dora was able to communicate with it so well. I'm curious to learn more. Dora. I think you should be on our team. Dora joins the team. And it's airdrop. It seems like the, the whole world is against you, but I'm on your side. Smiles. Saw. Join my team. Okay. And I'll bring my friends Lollipop and Taco. I want to help all the people who need a helping hand. Roboty. I'll help you. In Morse, don't. I knew you'd join. Rocky. Cloudy. Woody. Nickel. You guys look like you all need assistance. I'll help you too. Balloony. I'll help you too. I don't need help but uh, sure. Bell, Foldy, join now. Wait. Join. Stapy has to be on my team. I'll follow Stapy. Yellow face, I really admire what you just did there. You've got such amazing skills of persuasion. Puffball, let's join this team. Okay dokay. Well, if you really want to find someone with that murderous attitude, go with Fanny, who absolutely hates everyone. Well, Fanny not having arms is a real letdown, like a real, real, letdown, but if she's got that aggressive attitude, then I'll settle for that. Welcome to the team. I hate you. Oh yeah. It's time to join Ice Cube's team, and make my dream come true. But this team already has 8 members. Bracelety freezes in shock. Quick. Grab Bracelety while she's still incapacitated. Bombi grabs Bracelety and drags her to their team. Basketball, no one picked me. I'll pick you. Based on my calculations, we need at least two mechanical minds in order to outsmart the other teams, which are lacking in mechanical minds. TV, Robot Flower, you've been selected by my formula for a successful team. Flower blooming and birds chirping. Okay guys, we have to stick together. This dude is right. We need to find a team with three slots open or else we're gonna get split up. We have to stick together. Grabs fries fries ha munfenf. Free food people. Oh. Gimme gimme gimme. Okay we lost a racer. But we still gotta keep it together. You and me, Blocky, we're this close. Wow, with a team like this, we're sure to get up to lots of funny doings. Echoing in Blocky's head, funny doings. Now that's the team for me. Yay. I'm grassy. Grassy. We're not here to do funny things. Okay Pen, we have to stick together now. We can't afford to lose anyone else. It's just me and me. Meanwhile, Flower sees Remote joining Liz's team and Gelatin joining Spongy's team. Ack. Oh no. The teams are filling up. HMPH. Well, I really want Snowball on my team so he can be people up for me. But I also want Ruby on my team because she saw how beautiful I am. I chose both. Crudliously. Like, Snowball? What? The Flake. Well, we need two more people. Let's not pick David. He's human and that's just weird. Oh, seriously? And not Penn, because he's still 200 vigentillion dollars in debt. Okay then, that leaves Nelly and Donut. Thanks. Yeah. I nailed it. David. I'll take you in. You can get my much needed help. Oh, seriously? Then Pen is on our team. Yay. Okay, this team needs a name. Well, I don't have any ideas. Well, 
this team mostly formed to avoid causing death. Uh huh. That's right. We're all about preventing death and creating trust. Team name, Death Prevention and Creating Trust, shortened to Death PACT. Oh wow, they're naming their team. If we want to win, then our team must have a better name than that. Team name, a better name than that. In background yeah. Go Ice Cube. This is the best team ever. Team Ice Cube all the way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Go Ice Cube. This is the best team ever. Yeah. Go Ice Cube. This is the best team ever. Okay, our team name has to be something solid, that stands out, and isn't dumb. I agree. I agree. We can't end up with something lame. We have to nail it. If we come up with something relevant and sensible. Team name, Team Ice Cube. Team Ice Cube all the way. Yeah, yeah. Nonf. What happened to the free food? HMMM. Where is the free food? HMMM free food? Yes, free food. Team name, free food. Let's be called the losers. Oh, you didn't have to. The losers chant losers name. Hey, we're like the alliance, right? That is so totally like true. That's such a good observation, pencil. Observe me, please. Oh, I'm a boomer. Electrocutes flower. Why can't you zap me? I feel like there might be other people, though. Yeah. We're not all the alliance. Well, if you take the all out of the alliance, you get team name, Yance. It's pronounced Yance. Uh huh. Yeah, how? Woody's right. Everybody's working so fast. That is not what he said. Tell me again, Woody. That's a catchy name. Thick accent. I know something we should add. Thick accent. That is the perfect name. Oh. So many meanings. HMH. Roboty. Get this to four, dash, ITs. Team name, Beep. And who are you? Book, Dora, Gaty, Ice Cube, Lollipop, Saul, and Taco all say their names at once. Coincidentally, that's their team name. So I believe you eight teams are all set to go, right? Wait hold on. Flutter's arms. Yep. They're all set to go. That's good. Well isn't it time to start the first contest? W wait, why am I not near my pals anymore? Gee, I sure wonder. But I believe Eraser was right. I had deduced that yes, it is time to start the first contest. Yeah, uh, four, I hate to be pushy, but we'd really like to start competing. Right Woody? Yeah. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. Hey. You. Can you quit your shenanigans and tell us when? Screeches. 4. Can you quit your shenan? Screeches. Uh oh. Look. X is about to lose grip of his beloved baskets. Distant, oh no. You guys gotta return the baskets to him. The last team to give X his basket will be in deep trouble. So to clarify, that's the first contest for the battle for BFDI? I guess it is. I hate IT. Okay, um, four? I'm willing to do this favor for your friend OX, but wouldn't it be easier for both of us if X gets down from that freaking tall pillar first? Uh, hello, four? I mean it was just a suggestion, but you don't have T. Screeches. My plan this episode is to have Blocky and Robot Flower climb the trees to catch the baskets cause they've got arms. TV will relate coordinates of baskets locations, and 8 ball and basketball will weigh the baskets down, once we got a hold of them. What about Grassy? Oh, you're alive? I thought you were just an overgrown section of the lawn that the gardener forgot to mow. What about you golf ball? I'm managing the team. Me too. You think you can manage me? Hold up. What did 4 say we had to do? 
we have to return a basket back to X. Okay. Blows really hard at the basket in the distance. I got it. Death PACT is safe. High five. High five to you too. High five. Whoa. Taco, do we really have to run through the desert? That's where the basket's taking us. Quietly screams. But ice cubes starting to melt under the intense summer heat. Tell her to grin and bear it. And take inspiration from Teardrop. Teardrop slaps Daco. Daddy da 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 da. Be quiet, Dora, or else your football hair is gonna fly into your pie hole. Now angry dad da 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 Rock, paper, scissors. Foldy, stapy, are you seriously playing rock, paper, scissors when we've got a basket to save? What's wrong with a little RPS so we can stress less? We'll guess who's best and bless the rest. Stapy. Now's not the time for rhyming. You're right. I mean, I would like to help our team out as much as I can. How can I be of assistance? Well are you lightweight? No. I'm one of the heaviest contestants. Well, I'm one of the lightest. Then I'll throw you as high as I can and you'll try to grab the basket. Okay? Oh. I'm a bit nervous about you and I find off that to just right. Foldy is torn to shreds by the propeller on the basket. The shreds rain down on fries and stapy. Stapy is angrily. Jump. Jump jump. The higher you are, the closer you'll, like, be to the baskets. I hate jumping. Fanny. Stop killing the vibe. Lightning. Go zap her. Wait, lightning, remember what I said about. Bubble. You wouldn't want to go against the Alliance's objective, would you? Bimber? In slow motion, beam bitter. Uh, no. Electrocutes Fanny. I hate this. I hate this. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I hate this. Ah. Uh, triple A I hate this. I hate Thiza. Cries. Look on maliciously. Oh loser, what an honor it is to be on your team. Oh pfft. It's nothing. Loser I love you. Flutters arms. I love you too fiery. Why doesn't fiery care? Guys, I like loser as much as the rest of you, but we should focus on saving ourselves a basket. Or else we'll end up on the chopping block. Don't tell me. Do you not like loser? Are you ungrateful of his majestic presence? No I just think we oughta. Remove the hater. Fiery throws Pin in the air, launching her to the basket. She hits it, the basket drops on the losers, trapping them under. It's too heavy. Save us loser. Sure can do. Loser lifts the basket, but accidentally traps a Coiny, Fiery, Needle, and Clock Cheer. Yay loser. Wait, hold on. Cut to beep. Come on Cloudy. I just know you can make it. Bullet. It's an awfully long way. Okay, I'm tired of waiting. Hop. Balloony jumps on Roboti, launching him towards the basket. He grabs onto the basket and deflates himself, moving the basket to X. He falls to the ground and gives thumbs up. Uh -uh -uh. Beep is safe. We did it. Oh, seriously? With Foldy gone, how are we gonna reach that basket? No one here can get up there. Puffball comes closer to Marker. Uh, turn around. Dinging, wah-ah. Go Puffball, get the basket. Puffball hovers up and pushes the basket to X. Hey! You spilled the air out of my basket. Oh well, that's fine. Free food is safe. Okay so tennis ball's gone, but we're still on track to get the basket in minimal possible time. Hey Blocky and Robot Flower. How is the climb going? It's good, but it would be easier if you helped. Okay just got to the top. Yay. I'm the first to the top. That's not true. I was here first. Robot Flower kicks Blocky off of the tree. Triple A. Oh shoot. Robot Flower has betrayed us. We cannot afford a second death. 
people. Try to cushion his fall. Oh wow! I'm too bouncy. Basketball runs away, while Grassy walks up and breaks Blocky's fall safely. Oh, wow, Grassy. You are actually useful for once. Good job. Grassy's always useful. Wait, golf ball. The next step of your plan is getting eight ball and basketball to weigh down the basket, right? Yes, that's correct. But how are you going to get them up there if Robot Flower's already at the top? Oh, well, you see, my calculations tell you that that, that. What's that? What? What's this? The world's best strategy manager doesn't manage the strategy well? Sigh well. I guess we'll just use the Trebuchet tennis ball built before he died. Is this safe? The Trebuchet tennis ball built before he died launches eight ball and basketball into the basket. What? Wow. You had this the whole time? I didn't actually have to climb the tree? Physical exertion builds character. Blocky picks up golf ball. Oh, well you know what else builds character? Quiet screaming. Why are we running through the world's largest oven? We gotta follow that basket. Well Ice Cube just finished melting, and teardrops going through the evaporation stage. We're getting so super close. Just hang in there. Lollipop melts and teardrop completes evaporation. In the background, Barf Bag and Bracelet use Spongy as a trampoline to get Nelly up to where the basket is, and Nelly jams the propeller, and Team Ice Cube. Uses Spongy to launch the basket to X. Let's use Bombi to launch ourselves up. Don't ignite me. E. Gelatin, are you insane? Bombi's our friend and teammate. You can't just kill him when you need something. Yeah. Team Ice Cube is safe. Huh? Oh, we won. Bubble, are you like thinking? Yeah, I'm thinking about Fanny. Well stop it. Heavy thoughts will like weigh you down, and you won't jump as high. Oh, okay. Ruby. Are your, like, eyes open? Yes. Well close them. If the sun's like photons hit your eyes, they will literally, like, push you downwards. Snowball. Is your name Snowball? Well stop it. All those L's are going to weigh, like, a flake, and that's why you jump so low. Flower. Are you dot 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 oh wait, we're enemies. I should not talk to you. But we don't have to be. Hey guys, watch this. Clocks clock hands launch a basket to X. Yay. So much value. The losers are safe. Only 3 out of 8 teams left. I don't have a favorite number, but golf ball's gone too now, so I guess I'm in charge. Why not grassy? Although I don't have a favorite number, I think we should use the trebuchet to get the basket to X. Sounds like a good idea to me. 8 Ball uses the trebuchet to launch the basket up to X. Yay! Come here precious basket. The basket hits X and he falls off. X somehow manages to get back to the top and grab the basket from behind him. A better name than that is safe. So now it's down to Ian Sand. Why are we literally swimming through molten lava right now? To catch the basket. Daddy Guys, book just exploded into flames. Got it. Also, four said Ian's and we were the only teams who haven't finished. What the stand? Well, swim faster everybody. I think I'm getting close. We're almost there. We're almost there. I can feel it. I can feel it. I got it. I got it. Really pencil? No, JK, still got half a mile to go. Here's your basket. Oh. Is safe. No mercy for ants. Oh, but jumping worked last time. Viewers. Which member of Vance do you think deserves to be eliminated the most? Vote by putting their letter in square brackets as a comment below. The contestant with the most votes will be the first to leave BFB. At night, X dons four of his baskets, which spin him around. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh.